I'm Terry Oracle, and these are decks that I bought in 2021. So in case you're wondering what's coming, these are on the way. Well, not literally. Okay, first off, Chiro Marchetti, Tarot Decoratif. I believe that's how it's called. Decoratif. The te okay, it is Chiro Marchetti. Probably his last hurrah in the tarot world since he posted that he's getting out of this because of piracy. So, very pretty. Traditional Achiro, nothing major here, nothing just substantial here that you haven't seen before, but it's just pretty. And it's only 20 bucks, and again, it's going to be his last hurrah. This is on U.S. Games, and I have pre-ordered it. Now, the Reflective Tarot. This is really cute. This is really cute. It reminds me of, do you, do you remember the custom Rider weight deck that the lady would put glitter on it? You remember that one? And it was outrageously expensive, but it was really cool and pretty. It reminds me of that. It's just so weird. I want it. This is the Reflective Tarot. Again, pre-order from U.S. Games. We have the Alice in Wonderland Tarot coming out. Uh, 25 bucks, not too bad at all. So, Minerva has disappointed me in the past with the minor cards being very lacking. Very lacking indeed. But I'm giving Minerva another chance. And I am backing the 25 bucks Alice in Wonderland Tarot because it has official Disney classics, Disney characters in it. I think it's going to be okay. At least I hope so. The White Newman has been around since July, June, July-ish, and it's still not here. I, I don't really know when it's going to be here. Uh, it says April. I'd be surprised if we see it before Christmas, quite frankly. Uh, I mean, this has been on my news program literally forever. I have no idea what the hell is going on with it. But uh, yeah, one day it will be out. One day we can hope that it will be out. I'm not really sure what's wrong with Sterling Publishing. Maybe they should have put it into better hands. Just my opinion. Llewellyn in the coming soon category. We have, um, what is this? The Cirque du Tarot. The Cirque du Tarot. The Cirque du Tarot. Let me close this tab. There we go. The Cirque du Tarot is very pretty and is something that I backed. I got it at the 35% off sale. Never buy anything at full price from this place because they have 35% sales all the freaking time. So in case you want this, it would be 35% off eventually. But it is really, really pretty. Very, very attractive. I love everything about this. And supposedly here in September, Dante Tarot, I bought already. Again, very pretty. Very attractive. Look at that. Very, very attractive. Only 20 bucks out in August. I bought that. The Frank Pinter, Frank Pinter. No clue how to pronounce that. Very pretty as well. And I like the art style. It's so weird. It's so weird and cool that I bought it immediately. And I mean, quite frankly, I think this is going to be a one of the best decks of the year. Just my opinion. August, though, is coming out. Tear of Oppositions. I know a lot of you love this. A lot of you love this. It's groundbreaking. Well, because you have things under the ground. Get it? It's groundbreaking of things under, get it? The puns, the puns, let's give a hand for the puns. The Tarot of Oppositions. So this is coming out moderately soon. What are we talking about? August. So uh, looks cool. It looks cool. I like it. I think it's interesting how they have the, the mirrored aspect of that. We've seen mirrored tarots before. Anna Kay had a good set of mirrored cards where they have a mirror and you're looking in it and you have the um, 
Lightseer's Tarot has mirrors and pulling out of mirrors. So it's sort of like a mirror on the ground, basically. I think it's cool, and I want to get it. See, ground breaking, get it? All right, T uh, Dancing in the Dark Tarot. A lot of you messaged me about this. Very, very, very pretty. <gasps> you know, there was one dark tarot that was released that everybody bought, and it was like 70 bucks, 60 bucks. This looks extremely similar, and it's only 20 bucks, and it's coming out in June. I think this is going to be great. It's from Linnea Weatherstone, who doesn't really make a bad tarot deck, in my opinion. I think that's going to be pretty hot, going to be pretty hot. The Symbolic Tarot of Worth is interesting, is interesting indeed. I like it. I like it. Look at the innovative thing they did with the ace there. Look at how innovative that is. That is so cool. I was looking for something like this, right? Something a little casual, a little TDM feel, you know, coming out in June. That's not too long at all. That is not too long at all. All right. The Tarot de Dios de los Tres is coming out in May, and it looks freaking pretty. This looks really good. This looks really, really good, and uh, I bought it. I can't wait. I can't wait to get this one. It's going to be cool. It's coming out, I mean, in a minute. This is coming out soon. Look at how pretty this is. Look at how cool this is. This is going to be so fun to put on the table. When I put this on the table, everybody is going to be like, what is that? What is that? The Rose Tarot. Everybody says it's a duplicate of the Nigel Jackson Tarot. From my research, it's not. It's not. It looks similar, but it's not. So, uh, very attractive, very pretty. I don't have the original Nigel Jackson Tarot. Wish I did, but I don't. Um, but this has a lot of very pretty cards in it. And I bought it. I bought it. See, this is what you do. This is how you do non-illustrated miners. This is how you do them. You, you sort of quasi-illustrate them. Look at the ace. Look at the ace. People are just getting lazy nowadays. They don't do stuff like this. They don't do stuff like this. People are getting lazy nowadays. Look at that. Look at that knight. It looks so good. And it's 30 bucks. It's expensive, but I like it. And I bought it. Advanced Tarot Book. I'm still waiting for this. Um, coming out in April. It, it Basically, it's 36 bucks, but it's 600 almost pages. Uh, I mean, that's that's... That's a lot of pages. That is a lot of pages. And I can't wait to get this. I'm really looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this since it was uh, announced. And I bought it. Tarot Deciphered, Susan Chang, and M.M. Maline. That's a super combination there. Those two are going to make a book that is worth every cent. This is coming out next month. I, I literally am just like hyped. It's 700 freaking pages. 700 pages. That's bananas. I'm waiting for the deck of many animated spells. I've been waiting for a long, long, long time. And it's not done yet. They're still working on it. They're still working on it. I was all hyped. I was all hyped, but they're still working on it. But, I mean, I'm just saying, the base edition tarot, I've been waiting. I've been waiting a long time for this. I still don't have it. Of Supposedly, they're getting close, but Jesus, they're taking their sweet time. Speaking of taking their sweet time, the Arcania tarot. Now, this was moved back. It was moved back again. It was moved back again. Now, no news equals good news. It's both in French and English. So I'm hoping I don't get a French deck, quite frankly. Um, it's really, I'm, I'm putting up with it because it's really pretty. I think they're doing a knockout job. They hired more artists, according to their Facebook group. And the pictures in the Facebook group are just freaking stunning. So I'm hoping I will get this eventually. I'm praying 
I will get this before 2025 and uh, looking forward to it. Speaking of not having it yet, the normal, the normal, the Northern Animal Tarot deck, I ordered this forever ago. It was supposedly going to be here in December. As you can tell, it's not. It's not here. And I'm, I'm waiting for this thing. You know what I mean? We've had a few updates. And uh, in the updates, they said they finalized all the cards in December. I had to ask, like, what the hell is going on? I'm still waiting for it. It's been forever. Can you give us an update? That'd be great. Lubanko Tarot as well. Is uh, it's still not here? It's still not here. So uh, this is supposedly going to be March. So yeah, we got another month. I can wait another month. Not going to be a bad deal there. Now let's go and talk about. Uh, no, let's put that back. Okay, let's go and talk about the other tarot. The Feline Marseille. I bought, uh, bought and uh, waiting for this. So. Yeah, there's that. And it looks pretty. They added a new color, too. This is so pretty. The box and packaging is so pretty. I hope, I hope that they, that they do some good stuff with the miners. I realize they're not going to be illustrated. But hopefully they do something nice with the miners and it's just not stuff on a stick. It's not stuff on a stick. You know, okay. White fly tarot. I bought this. This is remarkably pretty. When I looked at it, I was like, mm, that's okay. But then I got to these court cards. Very cute. And then we have <gasps> illustrated miners. Illustrated miners. It's real and it looks good. And I bought it. The Fauna Bell. It is a deck for kids, and I am a child at heart. I bought it, and I'm waiting for it. I am waiting for it. It is so pretty. That is so pretty. I want it, and I bought it. Now, stuff I didn't buy. Exquisite Familiars. Mm. You put things together, and you make a new familiar, and then you write the name down here. You know, you write the name down here. Not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. I mean, obviously people loved it. We got uh, we got 179 people that loved it. Not my thing. I did not back it. The Cthulhu Dark Arts Tarot. I want this. But then, but then I was all excited about it. I almost clicked by. But then... I looked at the miners. I looked at the miners. And um, a bit disappointing. It was a bit disappointing with the miners. Very, very disappointing. You got the kings and queens. It doesn't look bad. But then you got this. So they just pasted wands. They just pasted skulls into the miners. And I don't like that. I'm not a fan at all. I am not a fan, and that really ruins the deck for me, so I didn't do it. Everything else was so pretty, but I can't I can't put up with this. I I just don't want it. This made me not want it, and I was so close to getting the deluxe edition too. The 78 Tarot Project is such a great company. Katie Welsh is such a great person, but... I'm kind of getting kind of burned out on it, quite frankly. But they do have a new one coming out called the 78 Animal Tarot. And they're, and they're taking artist submissions. And I am going to try to be an artist on their next project. But I did not back this. I, I got too many of these. They all kind of look samey to me after a while. But anyway, but they have a, an animal one coming out. And I am going to try to be the artist, or one of the artists. So, that's what I bought, that's what's coming, and that's what's to expect coming soon. Thank you for watching. See you next time.